Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Laura and I post weekly videos about all things yoga and how it can help when you're juggling it all. This video is a Kundalini Kriya for aligning the head and the heart. And this will help you with balancing logic and feeling, ideas and action and the intellectual mind and our emotions. And when these areas are in balance, it promotes awareness, greatness, love and grace within ourselves. So come into a comfy seated position, shoulders back and down, sitting up nice and tall. And just become aware of your breath. Inhaling and exhaling in and out of the nose and allow your mind to calm and settle into your practice. So we will start by tuning in to the Adi Mantra, chanting Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo three times, which means I bow to the divine wisdom within me. So rub your palms together, generating some energy and place them at your heart center. Exhale fully. and inhale deeply to tune in. Om Guru Dev Namo. and place your hands on your knees and allow your breath to relax and find its flow. Now we are going to do some Sufi grinds. So you want to imagine that your spine is a wooden spoon and your pelvis is a mixing bowl. And we're going to do some circles, inhaling forward and exhaling backwards. And you want to be inhaling and exhaling through the nose for all the exercises, unless I cue otherwise.
and change direction. We are warming up the body here. Now inhale to centre, hold your breath, pull up the pelvic floor and push the belly out and exhale and just feel the energy in your body. Now let's dive into the Kriya to balance the heart and mind. So our first position is some arm twists. So bring your arms straight out to the sides with your wrists bent as though you are pressing your palms flat against the two walls. And inhale with the fingers straight up to the ceiling. Now, as we exhale, I want you to rotate the arms entirely with the fingers facing forward and inhale and return to the beginning position. And then as you exhale again, twist the arms back so the fingers are facing backwards. Then inhale in the beginning position and keep doing this movement and we'll be here for three minutes so pace yourself and of course take breaks if you need to Inhale in the middle, exhale forward. Inhale in the middle, exhale back. You're doing great, we're halfway. And keep going, just concentrating on that breath.
Now inhale deeply, keeping the arms straight out to the sides and suspend the breath. Hold, hold, hold. And exhale. And bring your arms back down to your knees. And just feel the energy in your body. So for our next posture, we're going to do some arm arches for about two minutes. So stay in easy pose. And again, extend the arm straight out to the sides with the palms facing out. And as we inhale, we're gonna raise the arms over our heads to form an arc with the palms crossing each other. And you want your arms to be slightly in front of the crown of the head. And as you exhale, lower the arms straight out to the sides once more. And this time as you inhale, again bring the arms into an arc. But this time, have the arms crossed slightly behind the crown. And continue this movement, alternating the arms to be in front of the crown and then behind the crown. And again, just go at a pace that feels right for you. We can always build up. Now inhale deeply, raising your arms above your head. Suspend the breath. Hold, hold, hold. And exhale once again, bringing your arms down to your knees and just allowing your breath to settle. Feeling that balance between the head and the heart. So for our last posture, we're going to do some crow squats. So slowly come into standing and we've been sitting for a while so do shake the legs out as you need to. You can give them a rub before slowly coming up into standing.
And stand nice and tall with the feet shoulder width apart. Just do some nice breaths here. So for the crow squats, you can use a wedge if you would like to, as you don't want all your pressure to be on the balls of your feet when we squat. So if you can't get your heels all the way to the ground, do use a wedge or a blanket. And with our arms, we want to do the same arm movement as with the arm arches. So as you exhale, squat down as far as you can with your arms straight out to the sides. And then on the inhalation, stand up and bring the arms overhead in an arc. Then exhale and squat down with the arms out. And if you need help with your balance, you can do this against a wall or not go as deep into the squat. So we're going to be here for just a minute. So do the best that you can and you can always build up. So inhale up and then exhale as you squat down. Your arms are above your head as you stand and then out to the sides as you exhale. You're doing so well, we're over halfway. Great job, you're doing so well. Last five seconds. Now inhale, hands up over the head, standing tall. And slowly exhale and bring your arms back down. And you can come all the way down into a Shavasana. So lying down on your back. You can perhaps grab a blanket if you have one nearby. And just feel that pranic energy in your body. Feel the alignment of the head and the heart. Feel the balance between logic and feeling. Feel the balance between ideas and action. Feel the balance between the intellectual mind and emotions. And relax here, feeling the awareness of your greatness and your grace. Now slowly bring your awareness back into the room, wriggling your fingers and toes. Before gently coming up into a seated position. Satnam, my friends, thank you for practicing with me today. 
And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more yoga inspired content.